For some, they are the pinnacle of recognition. For others, they reek of Western bias and sexism. So who will win this year's awards? And can serve as a testament to a life's work, as a trinket given out at the wrong time. Well, this is uh, not how I expected to wake up this morning. So how did the Nobel Prize become such an important award? Alfred Nobel, against the wishes of his family, wanted to give the largest share of his fortune to a series of prizes for people who excelled in physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, and advocating peace. So since 1901, the prizes are given to people and organizations whose work has led to great advances for mankind, as was the wish of Nobel. The Nobel Prize has been awarded 590 times to more than 900 Nobel laureates and 27 organizations. There have been multiple winners, too, such as the two-time co-winners American physicist John Bardeen and Polish scientist Marie Curie. And organizations like the International Committee of the Red Cross and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Some winners were in prison, like German pacifist and journalist Karl von Osiecki in 1935, Burmese politician Aung San Suu Kyi in 1991, and Chinese human rights activist Liu Xiaobo in 2010. There's usually a delay between a scientific discovery and the time of receiving the award, which varies from 20 to 30 years, depending on the award category. Winners get a diploma, medal, and a cash award of over $1 million. The youngest winner is Malala Yousafzai, who was 17 when she won the Nobel Peace Prize. And American scientist Arthur Ashkin is the oldest at 96. So who are the judges? In his will, Nobel nominated Stockholm's Karolinska Institute for giving the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, and the Swedish Academy for the Prize in Literature. Strangely, he nominated a panel selected by the Parliament of neighboring Norway to give away the Peace Prize. And how do you win a Nobel? There's high-level secrecy around the awarding of the prizes, and the judges are prohibited from discussing any nominations who didn't win for 50 years. However, many winners and parliaments lobby the Nobel Committee on behalf of their favorites. But nominations do not ensure success, as Lise Meitner, who split the atom, knows. She was nominated 29 times, but never won once. Or India's Mahatma Gandhi, who was nominated five times, but never won the award. The Nobel Committee later admitted, that was the greatest omission in our 106-year history. The Peace Prize is the most political one. When the then U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger was awarded the prize in 1973, two committee members resigned in protest as Kissinger famously ordered a bombing raid in Vietnam while negotiating a ceasefire. And recently, the Nobel Committee came under fire for not rescinding Suu Kyi's Nobel after her failure to stop the genocide of Rohingya Muslims by Myanmar's military.